This is Lakeisha Spotzer, and I would like to welcome you to Keisha Talks, my video log series about my writing journal, and writing journey, I should say, although this is a journal of sorts too, um, my writing journey as a writer, and also information about the novels I write, stories I write, um, and pretty much everything in between. But want to welcome you to this edition. Um, this episode's actually an extra freebie because I had promised myself that I would try to do one video um, log or vlog uh, per month. Make sure it's you know rel relevant, fresh, has you know really cool nifty stuff in it. But I kind of had a lot on my mind this month about writing in general, so I thought why not throw in an extra. Uh, episode, so here it is. Uh, tonight I wanted to talk about um, networking uh, in all its various um, forms, whether it be online networking with um, network groups like Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, um, Library Thing, Goodreads, you know, and others of that kind, or whether you're networking um, in person with other authors, going to author fairs, um, special, you know, arts events where they have a celebration of the arts and of, of all types and fashions. No matter what you decide to do, um, you should get out there as a writer. Uh, and I know this is hard for some people um, because we're not all outgoing. Okay, you know, I, we, I do recognize that fact that everyone's outgoing, um, easy to talk to. Some of us are shy. Some of us are very um, nervous about speaking in public. But no matter what type of personality you have, if you've decided that you want to be a writer and you want to put your stuff out there and you want to get readers and you want people to read your stuff, you're going to have to develop some people skills and um, it's it's imperative and very important especially in this day and age that you have these skills because readers um, are very interesting creatures and I can say this from personal experience because I was a reader before I was a writer but um, readers when you get them we tend to be very loyal um, especially with authors that you know, write series and such, um, and you, you don't have to write a series, of course, to, to have a, a loyal following. Um, that's not what I'm saying, but it, we'll use the example of a series. Um, once a reader, you know, latches on to a series, and this is from my own personal experience, I don't know, it may be different for other readers, but I tend to stay with that person through thick and thin, for the most part. Um, I've had a couple of authors in recent years that I've just been so <laughs> disappointed with their choices uh, of what they decided to do with the series or who they handed their series off to that I've quit reading the series. Um, I still read the older works, but none of the new stuff. Um, but that's just an example. When you have readers, readers want to connect with you. They want to know more about you. And it's important, there are several things that are really important that as a writer you need to have. And number one, if you don't have it, it you really, really should get one. Um, either a website or a blog. Um, and most of the blogging software out there, such as WordPress, um, B2, uh, Evolution, those are some of the more popular ones. Their software is made to be a double as a blog and as a website. Uh, if you don't have web designing skills and you don't know how to install those, there are plenty of free sites. You have livejournal.com, you've got um, blogspot.com, um, trying to think of a couple others. Those are probably the main ones that kind of come to my mind right now. But you, you should sign up for that, um, for a blog. Um, and if you are a little antsy about blogging, then you definitely want to consider having a website. These are information tools and they're also marketing tools because your website lets the readers know that you care enough about your own work to um, 
oh, geez, my mind just went blank. <laughs> you care enough about your own work to put it out there and give them more information. And with a website, you can do a lot of things. You can run contests. You can put up exclusive content. Um, you know, the, the possibilities are kind of endless um, for, for what you can do with a website. But you, you, you know, you need these things for readers because readers, that's the first thing we're looking for anymore in the digital age. We flip to the back of the book or on the back cover or the inside flap or, you know, wherever it may be. And we're like, oh, let's see if they got a website. Uh, and then we're like, ooh, website, yay. And we, you know, we go to there and we're logging in and we're looking at content and we're checking out sites. And we want to know, you know, what's on the site, what they've got going on. And a website, um, whether you do it yourself, uh, if you're bold enough and adventuresome enough to do that, or whether you have someone design it for you. The website should say a lot about you. Uh, it should say a lot about your writing. Some authors, for example, um, have websites where um, they tell you about their characters and about their series and they give you the latest news and uh, they go the whole uh, nine yards. And then you have others that want to keep it really simple. They just kind of want a website to say, you know, here I am. My name is, you know, so-and-so, and this is what I write, and here's a little bit about it, and, and keep it really simple. Um, so if you're an author and you're looking to, um, to you know, dabble a little bit in doing your own web design first, there are plenty of free sites out there. Uh, you have angelfire.com, you've got webs.com. Um, they're, they're really free easier uh, type web hosting web designing places that you can use um, and and for the newbie designers it's a, it's a great thing to do um, but like I said if you don't want to run a website try a blog blogs are a great way to kind of get information out there about yourself you can personalize them they're, they've got lots of drag and drop features so you can add things to them um, I've seen some really awesome blogs out there they're really tricked out as we like to say and uh, and, and they still give information about the author without um, having to have any kind of skill level um, for web design. So these are kind of things that you definitely need to think of, but definitely website, blog, should be at the top of your list as a writer to get. Um, other things to consider as a writer in this day and age, social groups, lots, lots of social groups. You have Facebook, you have MySpace, you have um, Twitter, there's um, library thing, there's um, Goodreads, um, wow, um, Shafari, I'm trying to think of some others, LinkedIn, um, and, uh, Red Room, They're, these are all examples of um, social networking sites groups uh, that are online and available for you to sign up as an author. Um, other things that are really popular right now are Ning, that's N-I-N-G groups, um, Yahoo groups, which is one of the oldest forms uh, out there. Um, just, wow, there's just so many that you can sign up with. But um, as a writer, you definitely should consider, if nothing else, signing up with some of the the um, ones such as Goodreads, Shafari, and Library thing, because these put you in direct contact with readers. Um, and you can create discussion groups, you can create quizzes, which I had fun doing um, on Goodreads. I didn't know they had a quiz, quiz, you know, thing that you can do. And I got an email from them and said, "Hey, authors, are you taking advantage of, you know, these features?" And they listed a whole bunch of features. And one of the features on there was quizzes. And you know, I like quizzes myself. And I thought, well, shoot, that sounds like a great idea. And so I went to um, to the quiz section. And ladies and gentlemen, I created a quiz for my novel Jules. Um, Still working on the one for real love, but there will be one, I promise. Um, but that's just, you know, one of the things to do. I've met quite a few people on Goodreads, Shafari. Um, library thing is kind of new to me, so I can't talk about it a lot because I don't really know it that much. But I did sign up on it, so I'm going to get into that um, as soon as possible. 